What's up guys, SKS14 here. We're here with Warren. Hey Warren, what are we doing today? Just go out and exercise a rifle with a rifle today. Right on, want to tell them a little bit about your uh, your YouTube page? It's just for educational purpose and also find professional, respectful, and constitutional officers in the state of Oregon and make sure we still keep our rights here pure and simple. Right on, what's your channel called? Mark Guardian. Officers, I'm audio recording. Audio recording. I'm audio recording as well. Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? Hey. Howdy. Can I see your IDs? No, sir. No, no. Why not? Because I don't have to. I'm not doing any crimes. Okay. Any particular reason why you're carrying the AR, especially around at this point? I'm just time? exercising my right. I understand that, but is there a reason why you're doing it? Oh, of course, there's a lot of people okay. out here like causing problems and shooting people. <laughs> yeah, actually, we see what happened in, in Colorado recently. Yeah, exactly. that place, and that's exactly why I'm here to contact you guys. I'm trying to find out what exactly is going on. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? What's your purpose behind it? I make videos to inform people about our rights and give them knowledge about you know, what you can and cannot do in the state of Oregon. We're a big gun right place. And I'm also trying to show professional and constitutional respectful officers, which I just been from okay. Ben, too. And it would be really cool, actually. Okay. Uh, can I make a compromise with you? I have an AR in my car. Okay. If you let me take a look at your AR, I'll show you mine. And trust me, mine's way cooler than yours. Why do you want to trade? Not trade. I just <laughs> want to take a look at them. What would, uh, right. what would that accomplish, sir? Well, like I said, I also like to identify you and find out who you guys are. Uh -huh. Do you guys live around here in this area? What's going on? And I understand that you want to exercise your, your uh, rights. Take a minute, yes. But my, my question is, is, are you also wanting to alarm everybody else around you with no, the recent sir. events that are going oh, on? Oh, not even all No, of sir. Us. Did you realize how many people we have called because of you guys, right? No. There's several people been calling in. This is not a normal activity. But I'm all right. I'm all for your, your rights and yeah. everything. I like guns. I encourage everybody to have guns. I think if everybody had them, be better world. Colorado but, would have been a lot better event. I still have to do my job and check and make sure everything's okay. Make sure everybody's safe mm -hmm. and find out what's going on. Kind of like what happens in that shooting in Columbine. I don't want to wait, or not Columbine, but at the theater. Aurora. I don't want to wait until after an incident happens. I want to identify who I'm talking with and find out what's going on before an incident happens. And then... Why don't you just make contact instead of demanding identification like I'm a criminal? That's what I'm doing. I'm at, I'm, have I accused you of any crime? Well, no, you immediately asked me for my ID. I actually would like all three of you, not just yours. I would like all three of your IDs. Why would you need what would, that, what would that accomplish? Everybody I come in contact with good, bad, or anything else I have contact with, I always ask for ID. It's part of my job to identify. I let my dispatch know who I'm out with and everything. That's just part of my job. What does that, uh, that accomplish in the long run? To identify who I've been with. Yes, like, that's, that's my question. What does that accomplish? It accomplishes to find out, one, if, if, one, if you guys are legal citizens. You know how many people that we come in contact with that are not even supposed to have guns because they're felons? They're not supposed to have them? I wouldn't be carrying an open yeah, you, I, there'd, be no be reason, there'd be no reason. You, you for guys it. seem to think that all these felons think properly. Okay, they don't. They, they don't. We, we so agree. my point is, is we've come in contact with people that have these guns exposed and everything else. Mm -hmm. That's just part of my job. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to make sure everybody is safe and everything else is on the level. Okay, and like I said, I understand for some reason you don't want to show me your gun, you don't want me to check it out. That's why I asked if you want to compromise, because I tell you. The gun that I have in my car is way better than that one. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, trust me. Unless it's a, unless it's a short stroke piston AR-15. It is. Uh, is it? Yep, it's a 10 inch barrel, piston AR operated, uh, AR-15 fully automatic. Oh, then I can't touch it because it's illegal for me to hold it. You can it. touch it. So, well, so well, you're I admitting can't. right now that you would give someone who you No, I said I'd like you to look at. Would be oh, look, no, he said nice to look, look at, at it, so I can't hold it. Then. So we can't hold Actually, it. Actually, I can unload it and everything else. Well, no, it's still illegal for me to even possess it and touch it. No, it's not true. No, well, you, you can rent for a lot of this. If you get a well, tax no, stamp, I, you can even purchase it if you well, want yeah. to spend the money. I acknowledge that, but you have to have the paperwork to um, be able to possess it. Like hold it and such and such. But in Oregon State Law, or it's 166. Not true. Yeah, I, I take people out to the range, I let them shoot it. Well, they don't have to have any of that stuff as long as I'm there with them. So why would you let but someone... The, the point is, we're getting off track here. Okay. My point is, is I just want to see what's going on, mm -hmm. find out and identify who you are, and take a look at the weapon. That's all I care about. All right. wait, wait. That's all. Because well, the, one, you don't have it out in, uh, in, a, in a scabbard. It, it's out in the open. That one is one. 
This is traditional way of carrying a gun in a holster. Gun, yeah. This one is not in its case. Okay. Well, why doesn't it be in a case? You know, in the old Revolution War, we always okay. carry an open. Gun. What AR-15 so, scabbard fits on your back? Oh, we have lots of them. I got one in my bag. Do you? Yeah. It even has, it holds extra ammo and everything else. No, that fits on your back. Yeah, it like, straps on my back. Really? Yeah, you can buy a mini gun show. How much How much those run for? They're pretty cheap. But like oh. I said, we'll take a look at my stuff when I'm done here. What I would like to know is if you guys just give me authorization, take a look at the gun, identify who you are. If you don't want to give me your IDs, name and date of birth is fine too. Well, I, 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 can, I can give you my name and date well, of birth. My name's Warren. By okay, name. my name's Jim. Thank you. Right there, that's what the J stands for under my mm -hmm. name, Jim. Okay? Mm -hmm. But may I ask you, why do you specific, uh, specifically want to look at my AR-15? That's a good question. My curiosity, huh? one, are you running around with the ammo in the magazine? And Which is not you legal. Have one it's absolutely not legal. It's no. just curiosity on my part. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Your guys', your guys behavior is not traditional, not normal. And right now, with everybody in a heightened scare, where everybody's at with what's happened in the shootings, with uh, everybody's calling in here that you guys have been walking around about, mm -hmm. I'm here just to make sure everything's safe, identify who you are, and that's it. Okay. Well, I, like I said, I prefer not to identify because I believe in my uh, Fourth Amendment very securely. I'm exercising the Constitution. I'm not trying to be a jerk anymore. I think anyone. Like I well, said, I'm just, I, I do think you guys are trying to make some kind of a point because well, the, the thing is, is I come in contact with people daily that have no problem giving me their IDs. Yeah, and that's why I'm trying to change. Because Maybe I they don't know their rights. This yeah. is what we're trying to do, is inform people about their rights. Yes. Because a lot of people immediately surrender to identification like we are actually slaves to our system, to my opinion. I still believe in the Fourth Amendment of unreasonable searches, unreasonable seizures. And, and you're so. absolutely right. The thing is, is unreasonable search would mean if I'm demanding for me to do that stuff. Exactly. I'm not demanding it. Oh, I'm yeah. requesting it. That's what I'm requesting from all you guys. If you guys don't want it, you guys can turn around and go walking on your way. Mm -hmm. That's your guys' choice. That's where your rights fall in. But also, you guys also have a choice if you want to cooperate mm -hmm. and give me your ID or give me your name and date of birth or let me look at the gun. That's, that's all cooperation. It has nothing to do with going against your rights. If you tell me, screw it, get out of here, you know anything else, that's it. May I ask, if you do look at my file, are you going to search a serial number or something? Nope, I'm not even going to run the serial number. All I'm curious right now about is if you got ammo in the magazine, and mm -hmm. if you have a round chamber, and just take a look at if it's an operating gun, which I'm pretty sure it is. It's just yeah. So, and that that's it. And then, like I said, with the names and dates of birth, I just wanted to find out if you guys are not felons, and mm -hmm. it's okay for you to be carrying a gun anyway. After that, I'm done, other than I would follow through with my promise and show you my rifle. Do you have a reason to believe that we're felons? Because you keep bringing that up, and it's kind of offensive, I'll let you know. <laughs> Did I call you a felon, though? I said to check and see if you are. That's why I'm trying to well, find why out. why are you so curious about that? Like, unless, because if unless you're a felon, you're not supposed to have a firearm. Like, I don't suspect most people of, like, being a felon, and I don't go up and oh, I have say. to admit, in my line of work, the people I come in contact with are usually the ones that get into trouble. They're the misdemeanors uh, mm -hmm. and felons that I come in contact with. That's normally who I deal with. Yeah. At the only time, unless I'm doing just a normal traffic stop, though, I deal with most people that don't get into trouble all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this, this is just, I mean, either guys can either choose to cooperate or I can just go ahead and go on my way and we'll be done. What would you like to do? Just the same thing I asked. Whatever you want to do is what we can do. May I ask, if you do um, just look at my farm, are you going to take it away from me or seize it from me? I'm going to stay right here in your, in your proximity. Okay. And so I can hand it right back. I'm not even going to walk over to my car. Okay. I'll and which, by the way, I don't have the camera running in my car because I didn't turn the lights on. Oh, yeah. So nothing's being videotaped on my portion. It's just your guys' portion. And this this is instructional. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're trying to. We're trying to you're, you're being very professional. Yeah, you're being yeah, very yeah, polite and professional. We're just so being we like instructional videos. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I wouldn't mind just calling. You know, don't really think, search my serial number. That's perfect. That's fine. It's, and like I said, it's not. Uh, not community crime, but yeah, you can go ahead. If you okay. Wish. You you can take it off, or do you want? Oh, me to you do? can go for it. Okay. I don't mind. Watch your head. Thank you. Thank you. It's made by uh, Winham Weapon Tree. They're really good. They're original owners of the Bushmasters. Okay. You can go ahead and put that back over you like want you want. To um, actually, just right now, while we're in uh, contact, I would you prefer you just put the uh, magazine in when we're done? I think it's like this, right? Yep. 
Okay, watch out, you're gonna get stubbed on it. Oh, okay, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the wrong way. There you go. Okay. Alright. Now, do you guys wish to give me names and dates of birth? ID, either one? I don't. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you my name. I'll, I'll give you my uh, first name. I'm Shane. Shane? Yeah. Shane? yeah. I'm Blake. Good yeah. to meet you. And Warren again. Yes. Warren? So, Shane, Blake, and Warren. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Do you guys live around here? In the Albany area, I mean. See, so this was our concern about giving you information, is now you're gonna start crying more and more. The reason I pry is because I'm curious. Mm -hmm. You guys don't want to give me the information. I'm trying to figure out what information. Well, like, well, like I said, we just want to exercise our, our right to you, um, yeah. our reasonable search and seizures, to make sure the officers know about our rights, we don't. their knowledge from the um, state academy. Because yeah. I, I talked to a lot of state um, officers. I'm oh, sorry, state. Yeah. What do you call those? The people that go to school. You come close and I can't oh, hear you. Oh, you know the people that go to school that go to become an officer and such? Yeah. They um they tell me about how they watch my videos and tell me that was right. And over in Mefford they kinda like violate my rights and everything. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, that's actually really nice. You can kinda see up here you're running because it looks pretty dry. <laughs> yeah. It just needs to be clean. So really nice. Well, thank you. So, again, I get, I, it's, it's my job to be curious. That's why I ask the names, dates of birth, well, like all that I, stuff, I, like I'm to student. get as much information I can get. It's also my job to be like, curious because I'm a student going to school in the chapter 33, but I don't, I don't try to jeopardize people's rights because of my curiosity. Well, it's, it doesn't jeopardize your rights because well, if you choose not to, like you're doing right now, yeah. it's not jeopardizing your well, rights. That, that, is, that, is, that is a test to my, uh, to my rights. Because you're seeing. How do I I'm, jeopardize it? Well, you're seeing if I either don't know them or if I'm willingly going to like alleviate my rights. That 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 is a test of some sort. Just like if you would go take a driving test, you either are going to like show your capabilities of doing it, i.e., knowing your rights, or you are not going to show your capability of doing it, i.e., alleviating. Actually, I just look at it two different ways. Either you exercise your rights, in mm -hmm. which what you guys are doing right now, okay, or you choose not to exercise them. Yeah. That's your choice. Yeah. If, if you guys choose not to exercise, there's nothing I can do about it. If you want to exercise your rights, then you guys can just go on your way and be done. All right. Well, thank you, sir. All right. You've been very nice. Yeah, You've absolutely. been very professional. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May I ask how long you guys are going to be out and about doing this, though? Because I'm, we do get a lot of phone calls from you guys. It's probably like 21 minutes. We'll probably have calls. Okay. Because this whole downtown area, when you're going by the Lynn County Courthouse, when you're going by the um, City Hall. Mm -hmm causing a lot of alarm, so I'm, that's why I'm just curious as to how much longer it would be, because that's how long we have to expect yeah. phone calls from you guys. Not long. Not long, we just pretty much go on like a little simple walk around and that was pretty much it. Okay. Alright. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. So what would you say, pretty professional? I would say it was pretty good. Um, he, he, under, he acknowledged about our rights, which is a good thing. He acknowledged that, um, we do not have to get identification since there is no um, no law that says such to give identification. But it still needs to be based on reasonable suspicion, based on specific and articulable facts of crime under the Terrier versus Ohio case. So, like I said, he knew his authority. That's what we want to see. Uh, he just came to do a meet and greet. I think he just stated clearly that we can walk away pretty much. Mm -hmm. right? We weren't, we weren't detained. He, yeah, he told yeah. us to go on our way if we so, weren't going to do anything. So, so pretty much he, he he known that we're not detained. He's just doing a little talk. And he said he's just curious on his, his job duty, I guess. Let's go down water. Yeah. All right, I think that went well. I, yeah. I think it was all right. <laughs> That's just it, though. Like, I don't no compromise. Yeah, exactly. They're big on that.